This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, December the 5th, 2013. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. We begin with sad news that South Africa's first black president and anti-apartheid icon Nelson Mandela is dead. He was 95. President Jacob Zuma made the announcement a short while ago. Mandela had been receiving intense home-based medical care for a lung infection after three months in hospital. Mandela led a South Africa's transition from white minority rule in the 1990s after 27 years in prison. Back in Barbados, two business leaders are seeking to put private sector workers on ease. Any layoffs in the civil service will not mean automatic job losses at companies across the island. That's the word from head of the Private Sector Association of Barbados, John Williams, and president of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Lalu Vaswani. Williams tells Barbados today they won't simply follow government's lead. I don't think anybody in the business community is waiting for the government to do anything as a cue for taking their own actions. I think you go on from that, although there may be some contraction in spending, um, it could also be a, a signal that the government is finally ready to tackle its expenditure problems. Mm -hmm. And this, in, its, in, 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 a, uh, in a way, could then be, give um, a level of confidence that we're started to, to, to implement those decisions that have to be taken. And at least one bank is promising that it will not be sending home any workers in the face of rising concerns about the public sector layoffs. Managing Director of Retail and Business Banking at First Caribbean International Bank, Mark St. Hill, says jobs there are safe. But he says don't expect any new employment either. Hill was speaking to Barbados Today following a tour of the Warrens Banking Center, which will open to the public next week. 39 workers will be drawn from within First Caribbean to fill positions at the new location. Barbados needs to do away with co-education. Businessman Ralph Busy Williams says it's doing more harm than good. He's even gone as far as saying it's contributing to the domestic violence situation in Barbados. Williams was quick to say that there is no excuse for a man hitting a woman in anger. But he says sometimes boys in co-ed schools can be ridiculed and laughed at by their female counterparts. I am hoping if for no other reason to be, than to be able to change the education system in Barbados back to boys and girls up to secondary level, that the Barbados economy will grow in order for us to be able to do this. Because I don't think that the co-education system is doing us any good. And especially it is, it is it is promoting stuff in, in this country that we definitely at hope uh, should not, it should not be happening. Williams is speaking at the Foundation School Speech Day. In sports, Wesley Hall Boys School has taken its 10th Guardian Group Herman Griffith cricket title. An impressive all-round performance gave them the edge over Eden Lodge Primary at Empire Cricket Grounds in Bank Hall today. The defending champions posted a score of 132 for 6 in their allotted 25 overs. Eden Lodge stayed at the crease for 19 overs. With all out, they only managed to 84 runs, giving the King Street boys a 38-run victory. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. 
So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. All trade-ins are welcomed. In the region, the media and members of the public were today barred from hearing the testimony of a witness as the murder trial of dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel entered its 12th day. The court was told that the evidence from the cyber crimes expert had implications for national security and should not be reported. Internationally now, a fierce storm battered northern Europe today, leaving four people dead or missing, disrupting travel and forcing thousands to flee their homes. British authorities evacuated residents from 10,000 homes as flooding started on the North Sea coast. Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark and Sweden all boosted their flood defences. Hundreds of flights were also cancelled across northern Europe while rail and ferry services were shut down and one of Europe's longest bridges connecting Sweden to Denmark was closed. That's our 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 a.m. tomorrow. In the meantime, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power.